Hi, welcome to the tutorial of this app. When you open the app, it says you to turn on the location services, which you can turn on by tapping the settings icon, privacy, location services. So setting icon, privacy, which you can find here, location services, and then you turn it on. You go back to the app. It's going to search for the satellites. It may take a couple of seconds to search. If it is not searching, make sure that your data is on because that's the most important part that helps you getting satellites connectivity. And uh, this is the default display, which is uh, it also indicates home at the bottom row. And now we start with the help. So if the meter is not working for you, you what, we, what you can try is you go to the app settings, make sure that you have granted that permission. That's the important permission the app needs to work. And after that, you have to turn on the privacy. This is what we just did. You have to turn on the mobile data. As I said before, you need to have a good connectivity. And uh, if it's still not working, what you can do is you can double tap the home button of your iPhone to bring up the recent app tray and then you can just swipe it away from here so that when you open it next time, it loads freshly. And this is Compass. So the, if, if you find that Compass is not showing the correct data, then you may want to tap on the i info button and you may want to watch a video how to calibrate a compass and then comes themes if you want to change the color of those fonts so make sure that first you select those small rectangle on the top top row and then you can tap on the bottom rectangles to see those things in effect you can apply it however it's not looking that good so let's just go back to the white default and then comes settings it's pretty self-explanatory you can just look at this and then comes uh, remove ads so we have placed the ads because it's a free version however if you can get rid of all the ads for free if you watch a small video ad which is going to be like 30 seconds long and the ads will be removed for 24 hours it's going to be a great experience for you if you try if you give it that a try and now we're coming to the more actions in the top right corner three dots as you can see you can pause the trip, reset trip. Um, what is the difference between reset trip and reset maximum speed? When you tap on the reset trip, everything will be reset. Current, average, max, distance, everything is going to be zero, except the odometer, which is in the center of that. And uh, if you only go for reset maximum speed, that will only reset the maximum speed, which you can see um, the third parameter after current, average, maximum. This is this is the only one which will get reset if you go for um, reset maximum speed. Now there is a set maximum speed limit. How would you select the limit? And it says click on the speed at the top left corner of the screen. Can you see this uh, speed speed limit? So you, you can, if you can't really see it, uh, it's, it's right there, right next to this hamburger icon that we have. So when you click on this, here you can select the speed limit. And now you would ask me that where is the 45 miles per hour? I wanna go to the 45 miles per hour. No problem, you get long click 40, you can change it to 45, done. You can long click 50, you can change it to any any anything like 5, it depends on you what you're going to set. And once you're done with that, you just click on that particular part, now 20 miles per hour select, now 80 miles per hour select, and now there's no limit. And uh, the next thing is set minimum speed limit. Now if you drive lower than this, then the app is going to vibrate or it's going to produce some sort of sound to indicate you are driving lower than what you specified. If you have any incorrect readings, please contact us, let us know what was wrong we're going to try our best to figure out uh, the bugs which we have uh, which may uh, which we may have in the app and then comes odometer you may want to reset the odometer so you can do it for example you forgot to use the app when you were going somewhere you just forget one trip using the app so you just can come back here you can reset the odometer in case you find it there is a location which will give you the current location and you can also view it on the map. I'm not going to do it right now because uh, it's, it's going to be a simple thing to do. And then we have a save button, which you can see on the top row, save trip. So when you click on this, it's an optional whether you want to, you may want to give a name. Otherwise, you can just tap save button without filling any information that trip will be saved. You want to tap on the view and here we go. This gives you the overview of a trip. You want to go into the detail you just click on it and here we go the details um, if you have any problem understanding what those parameters are you can just tap on the information and if you want to rename a trip you tap on this pen icon 
right next to the trip name and you can change it whatever you want for example I'm going to say that okay home done so so and now we are also added logs so when you click on it it brings logs what are logs logs are actually giving you the timestamp what speed it was during that time what was the accuracy of the app latitude longitude things like that as you can see the accuracy started from 65 meters and has gone went to the uh, and has gone to 5 meters so lower the accuracy is the better uh, the lower the accuracy in meters the more accurate the app is so 5 meters you are very close you are in close you are in the radius of 5 meters so which is more accurate than you are in radius of 65 meters and anything less than 10 is considered good and anything less than 5 or close to 5 is considered excellent so you can use this logs to show to the cops uh, when you get pulled over for speeding or things like that so you have a way to protect yourself every minute is shown in this you can have a look and uh, you can click the address which will give you the address when you turn out of the trip the address when you enter the trip theoretical distance now this is the distance between two points it's more like a straight line what is the exact smallest distance between the two points at respective of the ways and roads which you have between the two paths it just to give you an idea when i come back you want to delete a trip you just can swipe it from the left to right or from right to left and it will delete the trip you can undo to bring it back status is going to show you all the trips right now i just have one so that's what it shows and uh, let me just reset it to zero so that things remain uh, pretty nice now here we see the moving time at all time the moving time is the time when you are actually moving so i'm not moving i'm, I'm in a room so it's not gonna work idle time is the time when you're not moving and the moving time plus idle time gives you the time which is at the bottom uh, center bottom uh, which is 652 right now obviously the idle time and that particular time is the same because moving time plus idle time is the total time and uh, ALT is the altitude, that is the latitude, longitude, GPS connect is 90% and uh, you don't like this display, you want to go for the bigger display, we have a big uh, big one which shows 5 parameters now you would ask me, you want to you wanna have a bigger display than this, then here's a big 2 and you say that you want to have uh, a more bigger than this, oh my god in that case there's a custom, but custom and big 2 looks alike, don't they? they do but I'm going to tell you that so in custom the first advantage you have is you can select anything that you want to see on the screen for example you just only care about uh, GPS connectivity so you tap on this and now you have GPS connectivity or you just say that you only care about the current speed so we go to the current speed and now can you see this one icon what say what to show when you tap on this here we go the biggest thing the biggest digit in the app is this this particular display mode and these these five uh, display we have in the portrait we also have in the landscape so when you rotate your device you can see that so right now i'm going to go back to this board and uh, when you want to exit the app you you know you can go back to the setting privacy location services the the, uh, the way you started the app you just can go back and turn it off you don't have to do some sort of extra work because the application is going to run in the background when you tap on the home button and I, I hope that I, I was able to cover everything. If you have any questions, please let us know. Yeah, I forgot to tell you what is HUD, which is the head-up display. So as you can see, this is more like a mirrored image. So the mirrored image is, is exactly the mirrored image. It comes very handy when you're driving at night. You want to put your phone on the car dashboard. And uh, the phone is going to show a reflection on the car windscreen. And you can see the numbers in... Uh, little bit bigger phones on the carbon screen it's gonna look super nice give it a try you're gonna love it and if you have any questions please let us know you can contact us at uh, you can contact us here we're gonna reply you within six hours and we reply to every single email we receive thank you so much hope you like this app thanks a lot